Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the DFS experience for Friday, October 28th. We've got an 11 game slate. We're going to start with DraftKings and we're going to start with point guard Trae Young, 9 8. E, him and, him and Murray, they limit each other's ceilings. For that reason, they are not great plays on this slate. They're good plays, but I prefer Harden in the middle, 9 7. Um, Arden actually had a bad shooting night, still put up, I believe, 40-something fantasy points. Um, still gave you all the rebounds you needed, all the assists, stocks, peripherals, everything you needed, just missed. He only took he only took 12 shots. He hit five. He still put up 42 fantasy points, seven rebounds, nine assists, one block. And he's been doing that the whole season. So, you know, vintage Harden is back. He's 9,700. He's underpriced. He'll... He'll definitely be in my main lineups on DraftKings. Um, Damian Mitchell, usage is going to still be high with no Garland, 9,200. He's in play. Hard to get to when you have Harden at 97. Um, Booker, Booker's in play. Beal, not so much. With all, with all these guards, um, with all these high usage guards, Beal is my least favorite. And, you know, he doesn't need to do as much with Porzingis and Kuzma by his side. McCollum, if McCollum doesn't play, you're going to have to pay attention to New Orleans because that's where all the value is going to come from. They have a lot of injuries. They're probably going to be running seven, eight guys. Um, well, they need, I think they need nine guys or eight guys to play, but they'll probably be running seven guys heavy. Um, just pay attention to the news of New Orleans because everybody's questionable. Halliburton is in play despite I do not like his minutes. I love his ceiling. I love his game. Gets rebounds, get assists, get stocks. Um, I'm gonna play him, even though I don't like his minutes. I'm gonna play him for because of his ceiling, and I do prefer him. Last game he played 38 minutes. I'm not sure that was an overtime game or not, but usually he's playing what 36, 27, 32, 31, 38 minutes are all over the place. I absolutely love him playing 38 minutes. Took 15 shots last game. Four rebounds, 11 assists, one block, one steal, 42 fantasy points. Um, $8,300. If he gives you high 40s in fantasy points, you're fine. You're looking for like 55, though. 55 and up. Um, Van Fleet. Van Fleet, okay play. Drew Holiday, okay play. Um, Kate Cunningham. All right. Kate Cunningham, no Ivy. No Jaden Ivey, his usage goes up, his points per minute go up. If there's no Jaden Ivey, you absolutely play Cade Cunningham. I tried to get to Cunningham once Jaden Ivey was ruled out, but I would have had to make new, brand new lineups, and I didn't have the time to do that. So I was sick just watching Cunningham go off in the first half. But he ended up cooling, cooling down, so he didn't go too crazy. But I definitely like Cunningham this this um this late like he played 37 minutes he still shot poorly but he got 25 shots up eight rebounds six assists two blocks one steal 48 fantasy points on another bad shooting night but with no Jaden Ivey he's absolutely in play he definitely stands out to me Kevin Porter's in play if he doesn't play you go to Jalen Green you know what to do Jalen Brunson's an okay game okay game Jalen Brunson's an okay play 7300 not too I'm enthusiastic about roster and Jalen Brunson, though. Chris Paul. Chris Paul isn't shooting a lot, but he's still getting there with rebounds and assists. Don't know how long that's going to hold up, but 7,300. He's been getting there the last few games. If you want to ride the wave, ride the wave. That's fine. Russell. The problem, the, the, the positive about Russell is that he's playing the Lakers. The negative about Russell that is that he's playing with Anthony Edwards, who's He's finding himself. And when I say finding himself, not like he's been like he's been lost, but Anthony Edwards needs to understand that he could give he could drop 40 real life points every every night if he wanted to. Um I don't trust Russell's fantasy production because you know any one of those any one of those guys could go off. Cat, um cat, um Edwards, you know, somebody could always go off. And then Russell is going to be the one standing out in the ring. For instance, for instance, Edwards went off last game. Anthony Edwards only put up 28 fantasy points. Two games before that, he put up 19. 
You know what I'm saying? Like he has he has a little bit of a ceiling, but it's hard to trust. Don't know with Milwaukee, Milwaukee, Minnesota. All right, let's continue. Um, Anthony Simons, he's gonna shoot the ball if he hit his shots. He's gonna get you there. Um, another guy inconsistent with the fantasy points: 34, 25, 15, 47, and 16 fantasy points. He's getting the shots: 22, 17, 17, 17, and 12 shots. If I'm not mistaken, that last game was a blowout. Yes, it was. So let's not count the blowout. So let's, let's not count the last game. But um, he's getting his shots. This, the the peripherals and stocks aren't really there. So he's just more scoring dependent. So I really don't play scoring dependent guys. I like guys that do a little bit of everything. So that way, if they have a bad shooting night, I'm still in the thick of things. You know what I'm saying? Scotty Barnes is an okay play at $6,500. Clarkson is a, is a fine play. You're looking for a close game in the back and forth game. Conley's a fine play. He doesn't shoot as much as I like him to, but he's an okay play. Westbrook. Westbrook is not in play. Dennis Smith Jr. at $6,300 is in play. Just, just make sure that he starts. Tyrese Maxey is not in play. I don't know why he, I don't know how he got a 31 um, fantasy point average. Probably because one two games, yeah. One game he had 39, the other game he had 52. Listen, we never know when Max is gonna go off playing next to Harden. If you're playing a lot of lineups and you want to take a shot on him, take a shot on him. It's not the it's not the worst play in the world. Jamal Murray working himself back into basketball shape. I will love I would love to roster Murray at 6100 because we know he's a 7K player, 7500 dollars player. But um, it's coming. Um. 28 minutes, good to see. 15 shots, good to see. Four rebounds, six assists, two steals. His price went down to $6,100. Jamal Murray looks good to me. Trey Jones looks amazing to me also. He looks good to me at 6K. You got two starting point guards at 6K and 6100. Do with that information what you will. No smart for me. Um, when Tatum cools down, I'll I'll start playing with Smart again. Right now I'm good. Monte Morris I don't need. Hey yo, DeSumno is fine at fifty five hundred dollars. He's not being phased out with Levine back, so that's fine. Um, R.J. Hampton is an okay play. Jalen Noel, listen, these guys are coming up. Noel's coming off the bench. I'm not paying fifty two hundred dollars for a bench player, but they are playing the Lakers, so I might I might have to walk that back a second. Um. He's getting the minutes, 20, 24, 26, 22. He's getting the shots, 14, 16, 16, 13. Getting the rebounds, 2, 6, 9, and 4. Listen, his price went up for a reason, and against the Lakers, I would take a chance. Um, Lakers, people are just running on the Lakers. You know, they can't hit a 3. The other teams are getting long rebounds, fast break, easy points. So that's what's going on. So, you know, if you want to play some of the wings and some of the athletic guys on Minnesota, how about it? They're going to beat the Lakers. So, you know, definitely going to be a – it's definitely going to be a lot of um, a lot of fast break points by Minnesota. Just watch for that. Patrick Beverly is as bad as Westbrook. He's not in play. Brogdon coming off the bench, $4,800. Not really an optimal play for me, but if he was your last man in, you know, him him or white, that's fine. Not the end of the world. Um, this is Devontae. Devontae Graham. He's a good play right now with everybody questionable. The more players that don't play, the better he becomes. If McCollum is out, he becomes a very good play. If McCollum and Alvarado are both out, he becomes a great play. So pay attention to the point guards at of um, New Orleans. Same thing with Alvarado. Just pay attention to news. Quickly is an okay play. I mean, these are the last man in types. Kendrick Nunn is another bum that can't shoot. None of the La- I won't be honest with you. I don't think any of the Lakers are in play, but we'll get there when we get there. The rest of these guys, you shouldn't be looking at when you start looking at lineups, when you start building your lineups. These guys come into play once news comes out. If you're building lineups, you know, 13 hours to lock, 14 hours to lock, and you're in the 3K, 3K range, then you lost already. Your night is already over before it started. 
I just hate to break the news to you, but I'm here to help you. Um, all right, we have here um, Jalen Brown, 8400. He's in play. Edwards, Edwards is always in play. Listen, Edwards is $8,200. He's a touch pricey for me, a touch overpriced, but I know his ceiling, and it's against the Lakers. Um, Levine is a little bit, he might be a little bit too cheap. If he plays, great. If he doesn't play, then, you know, um, DeRozan and Vooch and DeSumno, all their rates go up. Rozier, you got to, listen, all these questionable tags, you got to pay attention to. But they make a big difference in this slate. McCollum, Rozier, Levine. Ivy, they make if these guys are in, changes it changes the um the slate. If they're out, it flip it flips the, the slate on its head. So we just gotta pay attention to the news. So nobody should be done making lineups, you know, two hours before lock, four hours before lock. Because if you are, you lost. These lineups should be made, you know, you know, minutes, minutes before um the slate locks you know once we get starting lineups once we hear who's playing who's not like you gotta take this seriously you can't be spending your hard-earned money you know to not give yourself a chance you know what i'm saying so let's continue all these guys we've seen lavert i think i'm good on lavert especially against boston i know he had a decent game last game but you know he's still a little he, he's lavert is not on my radar that's all i'm gonna say now, this guy right here, Matherin, I don't like his minutes. I wish he had more minutes. My man is averaging like 22 real-life points, and he's not getting any minutes. This is not what, – what he's supposed to do with 27 minutes. Look what he's been doing. 34, 36, 40, 24, 20. And he's not getting any minutes. Like, his, the guy's a rookie coming off the bench, giving you 20, 22 real-life points a game, and they can't find him fucking minutes. Listen. Fuck the Pacers. Let's continue. Well, he's in play. He's in play. He's a little bit overpriced because of his minutes, but if he goes off, then you'll be happy. Gary Trent's an okay play. Buddy Hill, I don't, I don't, ever since they played Buddy Hill 14 minutes for no reason, I've never played Buddy Hill. He's $5,600 for a reason. Play him at your own risk. I can't do Terrence Ross. He's too score independent. Bruce Brown. Bruce Brown. I guess if there's no Porter, he's in play. Um, if there's no Michael Porter, he's in play. They price up Josh Richardson. If he starts and there's no Vassal, he's in play. Um, Will Barton, there's going to be no, there's going to be no, um, what's that guy's name right now? There's going to be no, Delon Wright. Yeah, Delon Wright. There's going to be no Delon Wright, right? So, with no Delon Wright, Will Barton becomes a play. May not be a great play, but he's a play. 5K. Um, Grayson Allen's in play. He's an okay play. I think that's it for now. So, we get more news. Let's go to small forward. Um, unfortunately, unfortunately, I hate to say this. I don't think I could play LeBron because a big part of LeBron's game is the assists. And if nobody's hitting shots, how the hell is he going to get assists? Um, I expect LeBron to have an explosion. One of these games, he, he has been taking the shots. He's been playing the minutes grabbing the rebound. He's still getting a lot of assists, but he could probably get a lot more if he's got to his shots. You know, he's put up north of 60 fantasy points twice, 49 fantasy points in one game, and in one of his worst games ever, he put up 40 fantasy points. So that tells you how high his ceiling is. I Look, I might take one more shot on him, and and and, and then I might just have to fade him for Giannis, because the thing is, we know what Giannis is going to do at 12.1K. And with LeBron, 
and his team, we don't know what's going to happen with, with the rest. Of it. We know he's going to give you 40 fantasy points and up, but Giannis is giving us 60 fantasy points and up. You know what I'm saying? Now, there's a price gap, obviously, but yeah, look at Giannis. 58, 64, 74 fantasy points. You know what I'm saying? So it's going to be a tough decision. If I make two lineups, one would have Braun, one would have Giannis. But we're, I'm getting to the point with the Lakers that I may not even be able to roster LeBron. Um, these guys just can't shoot. And if you're not in a winning environment, your fantasy, your fantasy points um, ceiling comes down. You know, so we'll see. What, I'm giving them one more game, and I'll see what it is. But that team is trash, though, so I don't know. I might just have to play Giannis and just hope that LeBron doesn't go for 60, 70 fantasy points because LeBron – 60 fantasy points at 10.3 and Giannis is 60 fantasy points at 12.1k. There's two different 60, fan, 60 point fantasy points. You know what I'm saying? I'm looking at my, my, I like my lineups to be optimal. I want to squeeze out all the fantasy points I can get from every spot. I don't want to overpay for Giannis and him not give me 75, 80, you know, 75 fantasy points. That's the thing. When you pay 12k for Giannis, you're looking for 70 fantasy points. You know what I'm saying? Tatum at 9,600 is a little bit, maybe a little bit underpriced for how he's been playing. You're looking for a close game between Boston and Cleveland. AD, he, he's been getting there fantasy-wise, but I don't know. That team is just, that, that team just has a dark cloud over it. You want to play AD at 9,400, have at it. If I play two or three lineups, I'll have him in one. That's if he plays. If he doesn't play, just fire up LeBron and hope he goes for 50 real-life points. The Rosen, right, his salary's coming down because Levine is back. If Levine is out, Rosen becomes a very good play. Cat is a good play because of his matchup. If Zion is playing, Zion is matchup proof, always a decent matchup. I don't like Randall against Giannis and um, Brook Lopez. I don't even like Randall, period, on this team. Um, Banchero, I like. I like Banchero. I like this matchup. I've been playing Kelvin Johnson almost every slate. I think I played him every game they played. That's how much I like him. Um, they have no one. They have no one else. You should be playing Kelvin Johnson and Trey Jones every night. Marketing, I'm on. Very good play. Kuzma, I like. I prefer marketing. Um, John Collins is playing very well with his two with his, with his with his guards with his two guards. He's absolutely actually he's probably gonna destroy Detroit. Detroit has no inside presence. Um, see, they played Detroit nine of fourteen, so efficient. Eleven rebounds, four blocks. That's what I, that, I did tell you. He was gonna destroy um, the, Detroit. I think John Collins is my favorite um, mid range power forward because of his matchup. I'm definitely playing him in one of my first couple lineups. Um, Josh Hart, he's all right. Jabari Smith is okay. Jeremy Grant is an okay play. Kelly Uber is a better play. Um, you're looking for him to start. Usage is up. And fantasy points per minute it is up without Rosier. So pay attention to that. Mobley 6,100 for a reason. Hasn't been that, you know, Hasn't been that earth shattering with fantasy points this season, but Garland, not Garland, Mitchell is taking up a lot of usage. So just pay attention to that. Olenek, I like Olenek, Olenek when he was like 5,300 and I see 6K. He's an okay, he's an okay play, but, um, you know, he likes to get himself into foul trouble. Just, you know, him and Vanderbilt. So just pay attention to that. You don't want to pay 6K for a guy that's going to give you 5,000 in five minutes. Aaron Gordon is in play. He's an okay play. Tobias Harris is not in play for me. DJ Washington is in play for me. Jalen Smith is an okay play, even with Miles Turner back. Um, Bogdanovich has been shooting crazy, taking a lot of shots on Detroit. He's absolutely in play. Vanderbilt is in play, but he's very risky because of the foul trouble. Bobby Portis off the bench is in, in play. Isaiah Stewart starting at center for Detroit. Is absolutely in play. Kind of reminds me of Jeremy Grant, like the new Jeremy Grant. 
um, for Detroit. Um, Larry Nance, if that team is shorthanded, he becomes a good play. I don't need Al Horford. Cam Johnson has been lackluster as the starting power forward on Phoenix. Um, I'm done with him. Jetty, no thank you. This is Jalen, right? Jalen McDaniels on Charlotte. You're the, the McDaniel brothers? They're actually a thing. Play them. Um, KJ Martin, if he starts, I prefer, but he's not that, he's not like some fantasy monster. He's an okay play. KJ Martin. 13, 21, 23, 16. Last game, 29 fantasy points, 26 minutes. 10 rebounds, 3 assists, 11 points. So that was decent. If there's no Kevin Porter Jr., then you could fire up KJ Martin. But I prefer him to start. And he's not like, he's not like, um, he's not like a guaranteed um, smash because we still got Jay Sean Tate back. Boucher, not for me. Hachimar, not for me. Jay Sean Tate, 4,400. If he starts and there's no Porter, you could take a shot. So Chan, so Chain for, for the Spurs. I don't know. He looks like he does a lot, but his fantasy points don't really reflect that. Uh, 19, 11, 7, 22, and 20 fantasy points. Not for me, buddy. Let's go to center. All right. So you got Jokic, 11K. Got to get a little bit of a discount from um, Giannis. But Giannis is the more superior. I believe Giannis is a superior fantasy um, producer. Um, 46, 58, 66, 33, 68. And Giannis, Giannis be really in the 70 region. Easy. Giannis be having 45 fantasy points by halftime. Listen, Giannis right now is, is 1999. 2000 shot. That's what he is. Dominant. You can't stop him. You know it's coming. There's nothing you could do about it. That's what he is right now. Um, um, and B 10K. And B is an okay play. Siakam is an okay play. $8,900. Siakam's been a um, go to guy on the Raptors. Even with all those, those those talented guys they have, Siakam has put the team on his on his shoulders. So listen, if you want to play him at eighty nine hundred, that's the thing now. He's in play. Look, look at his shot: 20, 21, 19, 22, and sixteen. In a close game, he's gonna play forty minutes, five rebounds, thirteen assists, forty eight fantasy points. Siakam is in play. Um, Gobert. Okay, play against the Lakers. Vooch is in play, especially if there's no Levine. More shots for him. Valen Junis is going to be in play. Um, they're going to be shorthanded. I don't think I need Porzingis. He should dominate Indiana, but I don't think I need him. Jared Allen, I don't think I need against Boston. Nurkic is an okay play against Houston. Aiton's a fine play. He's an okay play. Wendell Carter, I'm scared to play Wendell Carter because of Banchero's productivity. Hurdles in play. Um, Hurdles a decent play. No Miles Turner for me. Um, no Capella for me. If St. Goon started, I would love to play him, but you know, they've been dicking around St. Goon since he came into the league. So I'm just gonna stay away from that. Mitchell Robinson is hit or miss. You're playing 15 lineups, maybe throw him at one. But Lopez is sneaky good. People overlook him. You know, he could give you four or five blocks a game. Should be a close game. Should, should be some peripherals and stocks for him. Look, two blocks, five blocks, six blocks. Taking decent shots too. 16 shots, seven shots, 10 shots. 29 fantasy points, 23 fantasy points, 27 fantasy points. Listen, while Milton is out, Middleton is out. I'm sorry. While Middleton is out, take advantage of $5,200 book Lopez. And with Brook Lopez being fifty two hundred dollars, I don't think I really need to come down here. Um, Kevin Love, if you're feeling froggy, did Nick Richards get any minutes last game? Um, and twenty six, nineteen minutes, fifteen fantasy points. He's very, a very um, 
hit or miss play. Hartenstein's an okay play. I think Drummond was in one of the optimals, if I'm not mistaken. Jalen Duran is okay. So you have options. I want to be really going too far in the 4Ks so we get more news. But, you know, it's 11-game slate. There are a lot of players we could play. Let's get five guys and let's get out of here. Um, so what still stands out to me is Harden. Harden stands out. Middle, not Middleton. Cunningham stands out to me. Cunningham is point guard only. Okay, no problem. So point. Okay, so Cunningham stands out to me. I don't really. I, I'm I'm starting my lineups with these guys: Harding, Cunningham. If Ivy is playing, I take out Cunningham. And maybe I replace him with Halliburton because I still love Halliburton. I still really like Halliburton because of his upside. Um, power forward. I like John Collins at 7K. At small forward, I like. I need to find somebody mid-range, mid-tier. Kelly Oubre is going to stand out. I like Matherin, but I love Oubre's minutes more. So let's go Oubre, $6,200 with no Rosier. We got Harden. We got Oubre. We got Collins. We got Cunningham. And we need one more player. Let's see what we can find at shooting guard. Or not, we'll just go to Brooke Lopez. Because Brooke Lopez... The more I think about it, um, the more I like it. Actually, there's going to be, you know what? Hold on. Let's go to utility. Let's go to utility. There, there are a lot of plays here. You could pick up Dennis Smith Jr. You could pick up Trey Jones. Um, oh, I just saw him. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Okay. Trey Jones. So we'll, we'll do a Harden. We'll do Ubre. We're no rose there. We'll do John Collins because of the matchup. And if you're not sure about what I mean, just check the box score and look what he did against Detroit last game. We're doing Cunningham with no Jaden Ivy, and we're doing we're doing Trey Jones because you should be always looking at Trey Jones and and um Keldon Johnson. You know what I'm saying? You should always be looking at these guys because they're everything for San Antonio right now. Richardson is a little bit priced up, so I might just stick to to Trey Jones, but. Um, you know, once we get more news, we'll see how lineups fit. Let's jump to FanDuel. If you're new here, welcome. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell, thumbs up. And as always, if there's anyone that's having trouble cashing and you would like my my full up-to-date optimal lineup sent to you, or you would like me to build you lineups for DraftKings, FanDuel, SuperDraft, or Yahoo. You can check out my Patreon, which is linked in the description, or you can just DM me on Twitter, and we'll get you going. To save time, I have five guys that I like from FanDuel. Uh, once again, Trey Jones, Kate Cunningham, love, love his price at $7,500. Kelly Uber again, $6,200. Kelvin Johnson at $7,200 on FanDuel, and then Nurkic is $6,800 against Houston. So you already know what's going to happen there. So. Listen, once again, thanks for watching. Hope you had a profitable evening, and I'll see you guys later. Yeah.